Hello everyone, Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So, you got yourself some gold, and now you want to see how good that gold is. Maybe you found a nugget out prospecting, maybe you bought some pay dirt and got some gold from it. Maybe you're out metal detecting. You found yourself a piece of gold of some sort, and you want to see how pure, how good, how much it's worth. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Hope you enjoy. Now before I get started, if you watch this video all the way through, throughout the video I am going to be telling you how you can win yourself this gold nugget. Very beautiful gold nugget, donated from Nuggets by Grant to give away during this video. So stick with the video and you too could win this 10 gram, $500 gold nugget. And of course, it will be one of the pieces of gold that I test today to show you its purity. Speaking of testing, there are many, many different ways to test gold. Some big machines, big expensive $30,000 machines that can do it, all sorts of stuff, down to the cheap method that you, you yourself, can do at home, doing what's known as a scratch test. You have a black tile of some sort, a few different forms, strengths of acid, and you scratch the gold on it, you put dots of the acid on, and see which acid dissolves the gold, very special acids that can dissolve gold, and if you know which one can dissolve the gold, you'll know what purity your gold is. These gold testing kits can be bought on eBay or Amazon, or of course, I've got them for sale on my new website. If you want to go off to my website, www.danherdprospecting.com, in my store, you can buy yourself the exact same kit I'm using today. And they're cheap. You can get these kits for about $20 to $50, depending on what you want, and anybody can do this at home. There are some safety precautions you have to take into consideration. This is a very strong acid in here, so gloves will be important. Safety glasses will be important. And you know, you don't just don't want to get it on your bare skin anywhere, in your eyes, that kind of stuff. This stuff is nasty. And I have all sorts of gold here that I'm going to test today. I have a necklace that my son found metal detecting, another chain found metal detecting, a couple of rings we found metal detecting, one I know is gold and one I know is not, a couple of nuggets from a Pickerton claim, a couple of pieces from smelting, and of course the gold nugget from Nuggets by Grant. Now your first line of defense to find out whether you have gold or not is to look at it probably with a loop, something like this. Look at it really closely, and I've got the camera really up and close right now, to see if you can see markings, stamps that say what carat gold the piece of jewelry is. Here on this little pendant that my son found, metal detecting, you can see right on the top loop there, it says 10K. So the chances are this is 10 karat gold. That being said, they do make counterfeit gold with counterfeit stamps. So you can't always go by the stamp that's on it. Also on this chain, on the clasp of the chain itself, there's a little plate that says 10K. So I'm pretty sure that the pendant and the chain here are both 10K, 10 karat. If you look really closely at this little ring we found metal detecting, it says 10K on it as well. 10 karat, most likely 10 karat gold ring. This little tiny ring we found, no markings, none. This chain here, the color of it, it it's green, not gold. It's most likely brass. And then with the placer gold, you never know what you're getting because placer gold can be anywhere from about 50% gold up to about 95% gold. It can be anywhere in that range depending on what the minerals of that occurrence hold with them. Placer gold often has silver, copper, and other metals mixed in with the gold at some percentage. So we're going to go figure that out today. It is time to test this gold ring, which we think from its markings is 10 karat, and we're going to do that by taking the ring itself, 
and scratching it really hard on this black slate tile. It's actually a piece of glass, but anyhow. It's going to leave a streak of gold. And when it does, we're going to put dots of acid on that streak of gold and see which one dissolves it. So here we go. One good line. There we go. That's all we need. One good line of gold scratched onto that slate. Now we think it's 10 karat, so we're going to use the 10 karat solution. The one that says 10K on it. And if this dissolves that line, we know it actually wasn't 10 karat gold. If the line stays behind, we're good. I'm also going to put a dot of the 14 karat on to show you what it would look like if it dissolved away. Safety first, of course. Glasses and gloves. Nice. And we will put a dot of 10 karat solution, move it around on top of that scratched line. If it wasn't 10 karat gold, that line would be going away right now. We're also going to put some of the 14 karat on that scratched line just to show you the difference. Put some 14 karat on there and we can watch the difference between the 10 karat and the 14 karat acids dissolving the gold. You can see here on the 14 karat dot the gold line is going away. On the 10 karat line it's still there in good shape and very visible. So our markings on this ring were correct a 10 karat gold ring. I'm going to take this ring, which I'm fairly certain is just gold plated because most of the gold plating was washed away when it was in the sands, in the surf. We're going to scratch one good line on here with it. And then we're going to take the 10 karat solution and put a dot on it. and see what happens. Now you can see right away that scratched gold line disappeared under the 10 karat solution. I don't even have to try the 14, 18, 22, any of those kind of things because the 10 karat dissolved it completely. That ring right there is fake. What else can we try? Let's try this pendant of my son's. Here we go. It's supposed to be 10 karat. Oops, nice, good line. We'll put the 10 karat solution on it. We will also put the 14 karat solution on it and see what happens. And again, the 10 karat, the gold line stays underneath the acid. The 14 karat, poof, it's gone. So again, the markings on this one are correct. They show it as 10 karat, it is. Now, I'm gonna clean off the stone right now. To clean off these stones, you start with just some water solution, rubber gloves, water solution, the water will uh, dilute the acid so it's not dangerous. Rub real hard and it should take the gold off the surface. If the gold doesn't come off the surface with that, you put some of the 22 karat acid on it and rub it around to dissolve the gold and then wipe it and it'll come away. But often you can just do it with a bit of, you know, elbow grease. Then, because there is acid on that rag, I just dip it back in the water and leave it sitting in the water there to dilute any acid so I don't accidentally touch that with bare skin later on. Now for chains, uh, I believe this one is fake, it's brass, but if you wrap it around something hard like a pen like this, it gives you something good to hold on to to make yourself a really good scratch. Oops. There we go, we got a nice scratch, we actually got a double. A double scratch and I am going to use the 10 karat acid on it because I believe this one is fake. 
And sure enough, you can see it's dissolving away. The streak, the brass streak has dissolved away. We know that is not gold. Well, let's try some placer gold now and see how it works with this same process. We'll start with a nice big nugget. Nice big nugget from Pickerton. And we'll give it a really good scratch. Needs deeper than that. And there we go. Nice, good scratch from a Pickerton nugget. Then we're going to try one of the first pickers I ever found at Pickerton. Nice big picker from Pickerton. Got to get a nice, good scratch with that. Hard with rubber glove on. And there we go. That was tough, but we got a good scratch with the Pickerton picker. And of course, the nugget from Nuggets by Grant. This is what we're giving away. Now I told you throughout the video, I would tell you how to win this nugget. Well, it's gonna be two parts. The first part is if you wanna win this nugget, you have to leave a comment below. Leave a comment in this video and hit that like button. Those are the, well, the first two things you need to win this nugget. I'll tell you the last thing you need to do at the end of the video. Okay, let's test the nugget. The big, big nugget. Okay, I'm gonna take this little corner here and I'm gonna give a really good scratch. Wash hard, oh yeah, nice good scratch. Now I should mention, if you're worried about gold-plated items, whether it be jewelry or nuggets that maybe you bought and you're worried they're just gold-plated, um, you have to get through that surface before you can test it this way. A little file to file the surface down and then test underneath is a good idea if you're worried about gold-plated items. Okay, here we are. Nugget from Pickerton, Picker from Pickerton, and Nugget from Nuggets by Grant. Three good scratch lines and I'm going to test them all now. I'm gonna start with the 10 carat solution. I really hope all of these nuggets are bigger than 10 carat, or higher than 10 carat. They better be. We'll then try the 14 carat solution. making sure the acids don't mix. Then the 18 karat solution. This is where you're gonna find a lot of nuggets sit, is at 18 karat. Oh, these all seem to hold up to the 18 karat test. And then the 22 karat solution. Now 22 karat solution is the nastiest acid that's on here. In fact, it's a mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acid called aqua regia. Now it's not perfect aqua regia. Perfect aqua regia will actually dissolve pure gold. This is a diluted version that is sort of designed to dis dissolve 22 karat gold. And now we can have a nice close look at this to see what's happening. Now, if you look at this here, all the nuggets are 10 karat. Easy, you can see through the acid that they're all 10 karat. They're all at least 14 karat. They are all at least 18 karat. But then we move on to the 22 and it looks like the Pickerton nugget is not 22. Looks like the Pickerton picker is close because there's still a little bit of it, but it is dissolving. So I'd say that's around 22. And then the nugget from Nuggets by Grant is still sticking around nicely. So that one is definitely at least 22 karat. And that makes sense. The, big, the smaller the piece of placer gold, the more it's been refined by nature itself. So I can see why the Pickerton picker is a little bit higher quality than the Pickerton Nugget is. That makes sense. And I believe this nugget here from Nuggets by Grant comes from Australia, where they have very high quality 
high carat gold. So it is a very high quality piece of gold. Well, let's look at the two pieces of refined gold I have. We have this pearl here from that uh, recent video I took on recovering some lost gold where a guy smelted something, it went bad, and I got it all back for him. And then this little bead here was from the blue chip mine where I smelted and coupelled some of the gold. Now I say refined, but it's not refined pure. This has just gone through a smelting process of some sort. The big piece here is still going to have some base metals in it. Copper, lead, maybe some iron, and it'll have a silver content. This guy here is mostly going to be gold, silver, and if there was any platinum in it, some platinum. But I assume this is a fairly high quality one. I assume this one's not bad, but a little bit lower. Let's test it and find out. First, a big scratch. Oh, that's a nice big scratch. Now, the little bead. Can I get a good scratch from it, too? Okay, we got some scratches. Put those beside it. We're going to test with a 10 karat first. This stuff better be at least 10 karat. No problem with 10 karat. Now 14. Seems to be sticking around nicely at 14. 18. And they both seem to be sticking around for 18 as well. Let's see with 22. And at 22, they both see, uh, no, the big prill here is starting to go away at 22. The little bead is still sticking around at 22. So there we go. The little bead is higher than 22 carat. It's really nice and pure. The big prill is gone away at 22 and is still mostly there at 18. So it's somewhere between 18 and 22 carat. And I'm gonna explain in a second how you figure out percentages of gold from the carat value. It's really easy. But that will tell you that there is a bit more lead, copper, and iron in that prill, and that this one here is mostly silver and gold. There we go, the smelting process is working. It's refining that gold to nice pure levels and kind of what I expected them to be at as well. Let's, let's talk a little bit about carat value versus percentage of gold. Uh, 24 carat is pure gold, meaning that 24 parts of 24 are made of gold. If you went down to a 12 carat gold, only 12 of 24 parts are gold, meaning it's 50% gold. If you went down to like six carat, that'd be only about a quarter of the overall weight of material is gold. Now, 14 carat, 14, it's 14 of 24. That is just over half. I think that's like 0.6 something gold. Um, 18 carat, that's about three quarters. Three quarters of the material is gold, about 75%. The rest is silver and copper and some other metals to give the gold strength, or in the case of placer gold or refined gold, it's just the other stuff that's left in there. Now to calculate the value of a piece of gold from that information you have, all you need to do is start by weighing it. You know, have a good way, it is 2.33 grams. You're gonna find a gold value calculator online. There are dozens of them. Just type it into Google, you'll find it. And you'll put in the weight, the carat value, the carat value of that guy I believe was about 18. And some of them will automatically have today's value built into the calculator. Some of them you'll have to look up today's value and put it in there. And then hit the calculate button and it'll tell you. For instance, this is 2.33 grams at 18. And that comes out to, just looking at my screen right now, $87.49 US for that nugget. It's gold value. Placer gold is worth more than its gold value typically. Okay, let's look at this ring, which was 10 karat gold. Throw it on the scale. It comes out to one gram of gold. That ring has one gram. But that's one gram of 10 karat gold. And one gram of 10 karat gold comes out to about $20 in gold. 
Now the one you guys all want to know for sure. The gold nugget from Nuggets by Grant. Its weight comes in at 10.87 grams and we know it's 22 plus. So let's calculate that. So at today's value, just the value of gold alone in that nugget, it's 498.86 US dollars for that nugget. Again, that's just the gold value. Nugget value is usually a lot higher than that. Probably add 20% to that for its nugget value, especially because it's so pure. I said there was one more thing you have to do if you want to win this gold nugget. I'm going to give this gold nugget away on Patreon. You have to go over to the Patreon site and leave a comment in the post about the nugget giveaway. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a patron and helping support my channel so I can make videos, educational videos like this, please head off to patreon.com slash danherd where you can learn more about becoming part of my Patreon community. And there will be a post there about this nugget giveaway. You'll leave a comment in that post and you can be entered to win this gold nugget. Big, big, big thanks to my patrons. Because of your support, because you guys pledged to me to make these videos, I can spend time and money and everything needed to make these videos so that all of YouTube can watch. Thank you so much, patrons, for your support. I really hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you learned a lot along the way and possibly can actually use this in your own prospecting. Again, if you want to buy one of these kits for testing gold, it also has silver and platinum testing stuff in it. I have a kit in my store on my new webpage, www.danherdprospecting.com, where you can buy this exact kit I'm using here to test your own gold. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you enjoyed it, leave that like, leave me a comment, you gotta leave a comment to win. And if you haven't subscribed already, and you enjoyed this video, there's a really good chance you'll enjoy my other videos. I have hundreds of more videos that I have made, and hundreds more that I will be making. So please consider subscribing to my channel. Good luck to everyone who enters to win the gold nugget. And if you want to see more nuggets that Nuggets by Grant has, there's a link below and a discount code. Use my discount code for 5% off for any Nuggets by Grant gold. Until the next one, everyone. Bye. Oh, and a little postscript here. Tell me what you think about this video and the video quality. I am using the Hero GoPro 8. And it's the first video I've shot on my new Hero camera. I'm hoping the quality is good. I'm hoping the quality is awesome. And I'm hoping it stands up a bit better to the abuse I give my cameras. Let me know below.